say shalom on my kyam. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the eight double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well, and peace and blessing to you brothers out there that's kicking his word and sincerity truth. Uh, I wanted to go over the uh, the book, uh, actually the chapter of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the, the first uh, chapter, man. And it, it's going, it, it's uh, giving some sound advice, you know what I'm saying, on, uh, you know, serving the Lord. Uh, and also, what I wanted to emphasize on is uh, murmuring, man, and how that's, you know, not acceptable in this truth, you know what I'm saying? You know, you might have a quarrel with the brother or you might not, you know, like how a brother is handling a certain situation. But you have to remember to have mercy, man. And, you know, just remember, hey, this person could be a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be very careful about what you say about people, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, who hasn't offended with that tongue? But, hey, you know, we have to try our hardest to offend less. You see what I'm saying? So this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter one. Love righteousness. Ye that be judges of the earth, think of Yahweh with a good heart, and in simplicity of, of heart, uh, seek him. For he will, will be found of them that tempt him not, and, shall, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. That's right, man. So when we serve in the Lord, man, we have to think on him and say, in a uh, simple form, you know what I'm saying? We have to know that he's going to um, uh, give us everything that we need, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, you get caught up in your thoughts and you you could easily forget that the most high is dealing with you, man. But, hey, that, but, you know, staying in these scriptures, that's why staying in these scriptures are important, man. And also staying close to that flame, which is the brotherhood, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the most high doesn't have us here to destroy us. He has us here to build us up, man. And once you understand that, you know what I'm saying, on, on a, um, not even on a, a deep level, but on a superficial level, man. Hey, in a simple form, you know what I'm saying, you, 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 hey, your life will be a lot better, man. You know, versus stressing out over every little thing that happens in your life. You see what I'm saying? Let's get a precept. Proverbs uh, 3 and 5. Trust in your how with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So when you're going through things, you know, so acknowledge that the most high is putting you through these scenarios, man, you know, in order to refine you and he'll direct you. You see what I'm saying? Be not wise in, in thine own eyes, fear your hour and depart from evil. That's right. So you can't get uh puffed up. You know what I'm saying? With knowledge, man, and think that you got it in this thing, man. And you, you know, you want to do your own thing in this truth. You know, we have a lot of people that are examples of that, man. A lot of kids that want to do their own thing and teach their own doctrine. And look what they're doing now, man. They're totally going off country, you know, uh, according to the scriptures, man. But how they, by, and how they're doing that, well, it's simple, but how they, they, uh, they treat their people that they used to call their brother, man. They get rebuked and they turn to damn demons, man. And that happens when pride enters enters in, you know, your la'ab, you know, or your mind, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and you depart from the, 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 the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? You start leaning on your own understanding, man. You see? You can't do that in this thing, man. You got to just uh, depend on your, uh, the Lord, man, in simplicity. You see what I'm saying? That's how we're going to get saved out of this thing. Having that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah that he's going to deliver us, man. You see what I'm saying? When you get to thinking, you know, overthinking and start, you know, thinking cornerly, man. You see what I'm saying? Looking at this thing uh, of ours cornerly, then you're not going to be delivered by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because, you know, the, our deliverance is something that you can't fathom. You know, with a, a a carnal or a fleshy lens, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that we're depending on the Heavenly Father. You see? Let's get back to the script. For he, uh, this is back in Wisdom of Solomon, uh, verse 2. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth him, himself unto such as do not distrust him. 
For four thoughts separate from the Most High, and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise, man. Hey, that's right. So a four uh, thoughts separate us from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. What is what does a four mean? Well, it means perverse, you know, things that are contrary to the scriptures, man. You see? Verse four, four, four into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body uh, that is uh, subject to unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with when unrighteousness comes in. That's right. So if the Holy the Holy Spirit of discipline, what is that discipline that is talking about? Following the law, such commandments, it's just going to flee somebody who's deceitful. You know what I'm saying? You know? So you got to make sure that you're checking yourself in this thing, man. Well, are, are you uh, authentically following your how by Shimmy how shy? You know? Or, or is, is it, you know, uh, something that's uh, for, you know, for, for, for your your pleasure or for your hidden agenda, man? That See, that's being poor. That's being uh, perverse, man. Let's get some scripts. A poor heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked man. Let's look at that word for. Say, I ka ka sha, I ka sha, twisted, distorted, crooked, perverse, perverted. Let's look at that root word. I, 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 I could, I. Uh, I quash, I quash, I quash, I quash to be perverse, twisted, perverted, make crooked, prove, perverse, declare perverse to be cricket. That's right. Uh, make, uh, make cricket. Uh, to declare cricket, perverse, perverse. That's right. So the most high is not dealing with somebody who's uh, perverse, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's contrary to these scriptures, man. And a huge way of how you do that is how you uh, handle your brother. You see what I'm saying? Most of not dealing with people that's that's willing to talk down or belittle their brother behind their back, they back, man. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got to be very careful with that, man. Let's get to, uh, you get to these scripts, you know. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. And the evil way and perverse mouth do I hate. That's right. So the most I hate a perverse mouth. Somebody that's, that's speaking contrary to these scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? In a, in a, in a way that we could, you know, be um, perverse in this thing is, you know, how you how you handle your brother, man. And the main way that that a person uh, offends is with that tongue, man. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful with that, man. Most I doesn't like arrogancy, and you know, uh, and pride, you know. So you could be that. Uh, you can exemplify that. You know what I'm saying? When you talk down on a brother, man. You see what I'm saying? Let's get back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Now, we stopped at verse 5. So, let's pick up that, uh, pick up from there. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For God is witness of his reign, and a true beholder of his heart, and a, a hearer of his tongue. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of, of the voice. Therefore, he that speaketh of unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall, shall vengeance, when it punisheth, pass by him. 
for inquisition shall uh, for inquisition shall be made into the counsel of the ungodly and the word and the sounds of the word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his weak uh, his wicked deeds for the for the ear of jealousy heareth all things and the noise of murmuring is not hid and it just man, hey, it just man it just broke down how the most high hears everything man but it just broke it broke it down just eloquently you see what I'm saying the most high made everything you know what I'm saying? And he hears everything, man, including murmuring. You see? Verse 11, Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and reframe your tongue from back, from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that shall not, that, that shall go for not. And the uh, mouth that delieth slay, slayeth uh, the soul. Man, bro. So, the most I tell you right there that, hey, man, beware of a, a, a murmuring, which is unprofitable. Hey, a lot of times when it's truth, man, a, a certain brother would, you know, spear will, will not mix with your spirit, you know, and you you take that as a brother, a particular brother is wicked. That particular brother isn't wicked, you know. He's just, you know, uh, you and your, his, his idiosyncrasies and, and, and and, and your personality clash, man. Or it could just be a, a scenario where, you know, many scenarios where a brother offended another brother and now you're offended or, or he offended you in the past and you, you know, being, you know, uh, really, really being uh, honorary, you you don't want to give it up, you know what I'm saying? So you get to murmuring about that brother or, you you know, you're in a position to where, you know, you got to exact, you know, or, or, or give judgment. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, you could catch yourself, you know, murmuring about a brother versus being objective and, you know, uh, issuing that judgment. Say, for instance, you know, saying a brother might be late to a sit down all the time. And you notice that he late all the time. You know what I'm saying? You voice that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when you get to talking down about the brother, that's when it's a problem. You see what I'm saying? For example, you might, oh, yeah, he's late all the time. Yeah, I notice he's late all the time. And, yeah, he said this is so-and-so. I ain't like that. Bro, it ain't had nothing to do with that, bro. You Now now you don't cross that line into murmuring. You see what I'm saying? So brothers that have, you know, an uh, officer, um, uh, officer, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess uh, a rose in the camp, for lack of a better term. You know, be careful with that, man, with murmuring. You see what I'm saying? It might be a brother. You know what I'm saying? That uh that's 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 down and out and he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing in the truth. Well, hey man, have mercy because you could be, be in that exact situation, man. You see what I'm saying? And you you are talking down, brother. This man done repented. Now what? Now what are you gonna do? You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna look up that word murmuring for you all. Now this is that word murmur. This is the uh, entomology online. Uh, it says uh, expression of discontent, like grumbling. Like you talking down underneath your, bur your breath from old uh, French murmur, 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 sound of human voices, trouble, trouble, argument, uh, noun of action from murmur, murmurer to murmur. From Latin, mur, mur, mure, mur, mur, to murmur, mutter, mutter, from murmur, a hum, muttering, rush, probably from a pie, read, uh, duplication, base, more, more, of a uh, uh, imitative uh, origin, source, uh, also of. Uh, here we go. That's what I want. A uh, cracking, a uh, crackling fire. Uh, Greek to roar, uh, uh, boil. That's right. So you got all this antimacine, this hatred towards your brother. You see what I'm saying? But you're not man enough to go to him and voice, you know what I'm saying, how you're feeling. 
And you really, for lack of a better term, man, you really just be in a mark in the dark, man. That's not how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in this truth, man. If there's a certain scenario where you and a brother talked it out, you know what I'm saying? Let that shit go, man. Let it go, bro. You know? Objectively, I mean, not even objectively, dealing with the scriptures, period, man. If, hey, in the world, if you deal with, if you talk to somebody in the world and y'all hash it out and shit is over with, man, let that shit go, man. There ain't no reason to hold on to that intimacy, intimacy and things of that nature. Why is that? Because the most high, especially in this truth, because the most high is not going to uh, 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 clean, uh, uh, cleave to a soul that has that that uh, type of uh, uh, wickedness in it, man. You see what I'm saying? We just read that, bro. You know, and you being deceitful also. You already adapting somebody up, but you looking at him like he a hoe ass nigga, man. That's fucked up. Excuse my language, but hey, you can't do that shit in the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you could be murmuring and not even think it, man. You know, it's not even know it. So a lot of times you gotta check yourself. Even if a brother tell you, you know, ask you, you know, or tell you about s- certain things, you know what I'm saying, that that uh that's happening in the camp. A lot of times you gotta just be quiet, man. You know, you don't wanna put, you know, speak on somebody that could be a man of the Lord, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, you know, you gotta be careful out here, man. You know, the devil is playing for keeps, man. He ain't playing no games. We need mercy, bro. And in order, you know, in order for you to get mercy, you have to give mercy. You see what I'm saying? You want other people to forgive you all the damn times. You got to forgive other people, man. Not be act like no bro and just hold on to shit. That's what females do. You see what I'm saying? Hey, what man in this? What man? You know? People with high intelligence, they tend to get over things very quickly. They're, they're, they're objective. We have to be objective, but according to these scriptures, man. Not according to... Uh, a heart, my heart, and how I feel, man. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. That shit don't don't get you nowhere anyway. See what I'm saying? Expressing your damn feelings all the motherfucking time. Hey, sometimes you gotta man up, be the fuck quiet, and work, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, hey, and the first person that I'm talking when I'm speaking out y'all is to myself. So this ain't to no particular person. I'm speaking to myself as I speak to y'all, bro. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to these scriptures, man. Okay, so we stopped at 11 in Wisdom of Solomon. Let's go back to it. it wisdom of Solomon 1 and, 1 and 11. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that shall go for naught, and the mouth that belieth uh, slayeth the soul. Somebody was lying. Okay. Seek not death in the air of your life, and pull not your, upon yourself destruction with the works of your hand. That's right. Hey, so when you slip in this thing, man, you know, don't seek destruction. Of yourself, man. Don't beat yourself up. A lot of times, man. Hey, you know, we we we, we view um, humility as you know, uh, as some uh, somebody or uh, uh, as as uh, yourself beating yourself up, man. That's not what this truth is about, man. We being humble. I mean, it's good to be like you know, I ain't shit. But you could even take that overboard, man. You see. And how you view yourself is how you view other people, man. You got a negative view about yourself, you know what I'm saying? That that could be a reflection on how you treat other people or how you view other people, bro. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to prove it to you. Let's get this in uh, Sirach. Bless, uh, this is Sirach 14 and 1. Bless is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth and is not picked up. Uh, Pricked with the multitude of sins. Blessed is he who conscience hath not to 
within him and who is not uh, falling from the hope from his hope in the Lord. That's right. So blessed is a man who hasn't slipped that tongue, man. You know what I'm saying? Blessed bless is that man who conscience hasn't hasn't uh, condemned him, man. Hey, man, when you are condemned by your conscience, man, that make a hey, that could make you a very ugly person. I don't mean ugly, you know what I'm saying, on a superficial level, but I mean inwardly, man. You know, you thinking neg negatively about yourself all the time. And as I said earlier, man, that view of yourself, you know, uh, that view, how you view yourself, man, is, it, you know, you start viewing other people like that, man. You see what I'm saying? You looking for a fault in the brother. You see what I'm saying? Being self-conscious. Man, that's for bros, man. That's for females, man. You see what I'm saying? So so the things that happened in the past, a lot of times, man, hey, let that shit go, man. Let it go, man. You see what I'm saying? Let it go, bro. You see? Before that shit kill you, man. You know? You got, you know, you have a brother in the camp, man, that he, he always complaining about some shit that happened, you know what I'm saying, in the past. You know, hey, us as brothers, man, we got to stop. We got to start start putting a, a stop to that shit, man. Because that's not advantageous for that man's spirit in his walk with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh We're supposed to be new creatures in this thing, man. So, therefore, we have to be transformed by a renewing of our minds, man. If he says that in Romans, you can't be thinking the same thing, same way how we used to think in the world, man. The Most High has called us to be different, man. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to jump down to verse 14 for y'all. It's like it, bros. Uh, I said 14 and I meant 6. Let's get it. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. Hey, Amen. Let's look up that word uh, envy. This is that word envy in the uh, online entomology dictionary. It's a noun. Um, it says envy. Uh, I'm just gonna skip the uh, the trans like like the uh, the origins like old French and all that and get to it. Envy, jealousy, rivalry, uh, from Latin and the via. Uh, envy, jealousy. Uh, let's see. Envy is having hatred or ill will. To hate, uh, to envy, hate. Look at with malice. Cast an evil eye upon. <sighs> Say, man. And that could be a demon that, you, that 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 you're facing, man. You know what I'm saying? A negative demon, man. You know, that been beating your ass for years, man. It's like, hey, in the truth, you gotta get over that shit, man. So get over it, man. Get over that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, start thinking more negative positively about yourself. Then that that positivity will reflect, you know what I'm saying, on how you how you deal with brothers, man, in, out, in everyday life, man. You see what I'm saying? Every, everybody ain't out to get you, you know. Everybody ain't trying to get get over on you, man. You see what I'm saying? You know. So you gotta be careful with that, man. You know, a lot of people, most people that are self conscious. Can always point out somebody else's fault because they're self conscious. They're constantly, you know, what I'm saying, uh, looking at they self, kind of like a brawl. You, you know, you back in high school, you had that brawl that was kind of, you know, kind of fat or chubby, but she could scold like a mug, man, because she was self conscious. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to be that in this truth, man. So you know, you, you know, chill out with that. You know what I'm saying? Murmuring all that shit, man. That, they ain't got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? Let me see. Get back to it, man. Finish this right here. Actually, you know what? I, the point was actually made, man. Hey, man. 
be careful with that shit, man. Be careful with, with talking down on a brother. You know? Now, of course, there's a balance to certain brothers that you're going to be talking about as an officer, a sergeant for arms, cat, cold captain, whatever. But, man, don't get too familiar, man, to where you feel like it's okay to, to, to belittle another brother, man. That's not what this thing is about, man. Hey, the time is getting, the time is coming to where we're going to really have to depend on each other, man. You know, when you get frustrated and things of that nature, man, don't take your frustration out on people that's caring about you, man. You see what I'm saying? Do that to the enemy, you know what I'm saying? Which we know that this is a spiritual battle, so you need to be doing that to people that uh is contrary to these scriptures, not people that's in your camp, man. Holding on to shit that happened years ago. Conversation come up, you know what I'm saying? And you got this is to say about a brother, man. Fuck that shit, man. And again, excuse my language. I just feel like being candid today, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. Hey, no talking down, man. Talking down is for females, man. Fuck that. Hey, you got to work at your own salvation, baby. You got to get it. Ain't nobody going to save you in this thing, man. So you got to be the brother, a brother to the best of your ability. Not looking at what the next man is doing, man. That's what weaklings do. That's what weaklings do. But he ain't doing this right. He ain't doing it, man. Fuck that shit, man. Work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how about you, Yahushua? Barakatah, Shalom.